good you know our team's finally fully healthy um, where everyone's getting adjusted with each other we're starting to learn the plays a lot better we're chilling together on and off the court so it's helping us a lot thinking about players that influenced me growing up as a kid obviously Michael Jordan everyone but for me personally it was Allen Iverson and um, he was also a point guard, small point guard, uh, very hungry, very feisty, and that's the way I try to be when I play. Uh, so that's the reason why I chose number three. Simply lucky number seven. I wanted number 15 for the whole Vince Carter and all that. Oh, okay. Favorite player when growing up, but it's taken, so. It was actually my grandma's birthday, and it's the day she died, two on the 13th. Okay. So I just chose that number off of that. So, you're getting uh, your teammate Ty back for the second half. Huge. How about that? I've always liked playing with Ty. Big defensive guy. Makes it, it makes all of our jobs easier. Yeah. Blocking shots, defensively. Best in the country, in my opinion, in that position. I remember recruiting Tyrone uh, as a 17-year-old kid. And uh, always a very humble young man. Um, but his four years at Humber, like, um, you know, this semester he, he broke, well, he established a record that hasn't been established. And there's been some great players here at Humber. You know, the 500 points and the 500 rebounds just shows the versatility of Tyrone as a, as a player. On defense, like, I talk with my team, make sure everybody is intact as one, because that's how you win games. You always got to be a team player. Everyone's all got to be on the same page. So tonight you guys are going to be playing Sheridan, which is a huge game, huge rivalry game, fighting for first place, uh, a lot of energy that goes into that. What's uh, school life like trying to, trying to, you know, gear up for that, but also make sure you're focused on studies? This whole second semester is a redemption for us because obviously we didn't start off the season as we would like, but it's just a collective the unity of this group second semester is way different than it was first semester, so we really trust each other, right? And me and CJ being in the same program for the first years, because Rec and Media and Sport Management, they're the same thing first year. I feel like it's easier for us because it's a lot of group work, so if you miss something, you can just text someone. It's harder for this guy, for yeah. sure, because there's a lot less group work, so I can't speak for him, but... Yeah. You know, if you're not there for one class, then you really miss a lot of content. Yeah, and that's, that's got to be hard with all the practices, games, no, definitely and whatnot, and the weight trips. I feel like, yeah, my course load yeah. is a lot heavier, I feel like. Um, it's still the same six courses a semester, and obviously all my classes are two hours and 40 minutes long, like lectures or whatever. So if you miss something, it's kind of hard to catch up, but obviously it's a lot about networking and having a lot of people that yeah, yeah, message if you miss anything. Well, you know, the Humber Sheridan game is, you know, I think because the schools are so close in location, um, a lot of the kids play against each other from the time they're like seven, eight years old. Uh, through high school, and then when they choose college, in, they either choose Sheridan or Humber. So, the, but the rivalry within the teams are, has already been created. It's kind of our own little Duke North Carolina rivalry because I love it. you know we're close in location as well. Since they yeah. moved to Brampton from Oakville, we compete for the same kids in Brampton, and like half our roster is from Brampton, no different than Sheridan. So. Um, that adds a little bit of luster to it. Uh, when the teams are, are competing for something, like for first place, like it is tonight, or a national ranking, which both teams are ranked very high right now, it just adds to the game, but the game really doesn't need to have anything added to it. It's already a pretty good game in its own right. And it's usually the most attended game because the fans from both sides come to both gyms. Wins the tip off and Humber has the ball first. Let the jumper go over top of Brady going. The Bruins have a five point lead. 
73-68. A minute left in this fourth quarter. And gets it out of moment, he turns it over. Carriotta in transition, finishes. Right down to the last second. Five seconds, five seconds has been called against the Sheridan Bruins. Hands it off to Martin. Hoxley goes for the basket. They turn it over temporarily. Shot off Martin needs to shoot it, and he's not aware of how much time is left. The Humber Hawks can't get it off, and the Sheridan Bruins come into the Hawks nest and get an absolutely huge win. 75-74. The rivalry is huge here, and this game lived up to it in the final fight. Second semester we haven't lost the game, so this brings us back into check. We lost the game, so basically we just gotta get back on our toes, gotta work harder in practice. What does it mean to you guys as a team to be hosting OCAAs? So if these guys wanna to get to the national championship, they gotta come through you and your house. Tell me about that. We're not having anyone cut down our net other than us. <laughs> just going to regular games. We have shuttle buses for our crowd to come to our games to support us. Like that's a big part of Humber. Like everybody supports everybody. So we'll have that at OCs, which will help us. Like honestly, I don't want anybody beating us on our home floor. I think that there is a little bit of added pressure um, when you're playing at home, especially in, you know, it, when we play here in OCs, it, it's, it's for all the marbles. There's no tomorrow. You can't have a bad day or you go home. Guys can come on this court and they think they're going to win, but they're not. This is our house. We've shown that this is our house and we're going to prove it when it comes to OCs.